This is a quick and very basic video on CIDAR ranges or CIDAR ranges, some people call it, which is classless interdomain routing, what it stands for. If you come from a strong networking uh, background, then this video is not for you. However, if you are new to Curita, you're working on the network hierarchy, you're configuring your network, and you don't have a strong uh, background on networking, this might be good for you. So you have probably have seen many times addresses being specified like this 192.168.1.0/24, which is the same as you know specifying a subnet mass of 255. Now, one thing that uh, again uh, very basic, but this segment of the definition represents the actual network, and this last part is the number of hosts when you put that that uh, that slash nomenclature so, but for example if you see this address 164.168.1.128 not 0 but 128 slash 25 what does that mean? well these are two subnets uh, and, and the way that you an easy way that at least I use uh, for remembering this is you know the IP before is a 32-bit address space. So what you do is that you take the stuff after the slash and you subtract it from 32. So 32 minus 24 that's 8 and 2 to the 8 is 256. In this particular case 32 minus uh, 25 Is seven, so two to the seven. These represent a hundred and twenty-eight uh, addresses on that particular subnet. So, as you increase this stuff that comes after the slash, the smaller the network becomes. So, this address. Let's go back to the one ninety-two dot one one sixty-eight dot one slash twenty-four. That represents a network address that goes from 192.168.1.1 through 192.168.1.254. Why is that? Well, the dot zero always is the name of the network, specifying the subnet. And the dot 255 is the broadcast. You, you cannot assign any one of those to network and every time you divide a subnet you, you cannot lose those two addresses because for that subnet the first uh, it, it represents the network so for example I can this uh, address on, on 25 is an address that go from 192.168.1.129 again one more until 192.168.1.254 so again in this particular case we have divided this 24 subnet with 256 elements into a subnet that has 128 each as you can see here let me give you some, some other example so let's say that we want to subdivide this further. We had 192.168.1.128 slash 24 and we want to divide that by 2. So we're going to add one more to the suffix. We're going to get to 26 and again 32 minus 26 is 6. 2 to the 6 is 64. Which means that I can divide this subnet further to 192.168 dot one dot one twenty eight slash twenty six and this goes from y ninety two one sixty eight dot one dot one twenty nine one more until one ninety two one sixty eight dot one dot one ninety one because one ninety two will be the broadcast for this subnetwork and the other half would be one ninety two one sixty eight dot one dot one ninety two slash twenty six which go from one ninety two one sixty eight 
1.1.193 until 192.168.1.254. When you want to represent a single element and you have to specify a cedar range uh, type of uh, element, let's say that I want to this this one single host 192.168.1 let's say dot 30. If you want to specify that one as a in the cedar range you specify slash 32 and again 32 minus 32 equals 0 2 to the 0 is 1 and that denotes that that's a single element of it again a short video in case that you uh, don't have familiarity with uh, cedar ranges